Do you want to know how us crafters make so much money in WoW Classic? Well, today I'm going to show you how I got so freaking rich in game. So let's start with the basics. First of all, Thunderbluff is Biss. The reason a lot of us crafters like hanging out in Thunderbluff is for the outdoor auction house, the easy access to the anvil, in all the other player cities, you have to go indoors and it dismounts you, and then you have to go outside and then mount up and then run to the mailbox and then run back and then it dismounts you again. And also, if you need to craft anything at an anvil, there is an annoying amount of distance between the auction house, your mailbox, and where you smack your hammer. So secondly, when you're trying to craft things for money, you wanna make sure that you're making things that are gonna be consumed. In WoW Classic, people need to use stuff to be good. So that means that your big money-making professions are going to be alchemy for crafting all those potions and elixirs and um, other things that people use. Uh, you can also make some money as an engineer making goblin sapper charges you can make a little bit of money with enchanting, making mana oils. Blacksmith, if you happen to get the elemental sharpening stone pattern drop in MC, you can make a little bit of money off of that. And then every character can also make money with cooking, regardless of your other professions. So now let me talk a little bit about when you want to sell your stuff. I make the most money selling my wares on a Tuesday night. Tuesday is when our servers reset and it's when a lot of guilds will go and do the raid content. If your server has a published buffing schedule or if you know when guilds typically drop buffs in town, that is the best time to relist all of your stuff right before your Nixia or Nefarian heads go down. In general, I like to craft in the morning or in other non-peak times, sometimes if I can't sleep in the middle of the night. And depending on the item, I will sometimes list them higher than the lowest current auctions. And that just kind of comes with experience. I know what, what things sell and what they tend to sell for. Some things on my server are just scarce and they'll sell for whatever I post them for. Other things I'll need to recut and relist around peak play times. And finally, um, I kind of want to point this out because this is something I'm definitely guilty of, but don't buy stupid shit. I may have a problem going to GDKP, runs not to make money to, but to spend my money, and I almost always end up buying gear. I, I just have a shopping problem, I guess. Even though I'm not currently raiding, this is something that I do a lot of. I also bought a bunch of purples for my brand new warlock that I have no time to play, but uh, you, you know how the saying goes, a dollar saved is a dollar earned or something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go over a little bit of TSM basics and alchemy because that is how I make the majority of my money. We've gone over the when, where, and what of making money in WoW Classic, and I want to show you some tricks to save you some time and max out that profit using TSM. TSM stands for Trade Skill Master, which is a popular add-on used in WoW Classic. It works with your crafting interface and game to show you the crafting profit per item. My first tip when using TSM is to remember your favorites list. Every server is a little bit different, so your mileage may vary from what sells and doesn't sell. When I find an item that sells pretty well, I will add it to my favorites by clicking the star icon next to the item. When I find that something doesn't sell or I need to relist it many times before it finally does sell, I'll just keep it down in the reject section of my crafting list. Okay, so let's get started. When you sit down and want to do some crafting, first open up the auction house and type into your chat slash TSM space scan. 
This will update your current pricing. Next, you will want to skim your list for profitable items to craft. My general rule of thumb is to start with things that make at least one gold profit per item. Some exceptions are super expensive potions that might make one gold profit, but are generally very expensive to craft. So anything that's over 10, 12 gold, I, I usually won't make those unless I'm seeing at least two gold profit on those. And that's just some rules that, uh, that I set for myself based out of what sells and doesn't sell on my server. Next, I will search for the individual materials that go into each item that I wanna craft. There have been a few times where I decide to make 20 of something and buy half the materials only to find that the other half of the materials were either way more expensive than the add-on said or they just weren't for sale. Once I know how many of an item I want to craft, I will add it to the TSM queue by typing in the amount at the bottom of the crafting interface and clicking the queue button. After I have a list of five or six different things to craft, I'll get my raw materials from the mailbox and then check the gathering tab in TSM to make sure that I have everything I need. If I missed a few things or didn't buy enough of something, I'll go back to the auction house and buy what I need so that I can craft everything that's on my list. Now that I have my materials, I go and park myself back at the auction house and start crafting based on the queue. As I'm crafting, I continue to look for additional things to craft and will buy more materials and add more things to my queue. As items get crafted, I will list them on the auction house. And this is a good place to experiment with stack size and duration. In general, I try and list my auctions to expire when I'll be back in the game. So if I list things in the morning, I'll usually do an eight hour timer because I know in the evening, I'm gonna wanna relist things right before everybody goes and raids. And that's generally it. Um, using this method in, and spending about an hour per day allowed me to accumulate about 20,000 gold in the past 30 days. And this is using one character that had good crafting professions and just paying attention to my timing. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more like it, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.